Hey everybody, Eric here from LaughFix, back at it again with another video, We're talking MacBooks again. I have this really nice A1707 15 inch touch bar, I believe it's like a 2017 uh, MacBook Pro. It's very, very nice. Uh, you can see we have a problem, right? We have a folder icon. So when you turn on, you get a folder icon. I have a really good comprehensive video about talking about folder icon uh, problems and what it could possibly mean for you. You can go ahead and check that out on our channel. But this one is uh, another special case here. No matter what we do, it will not install an operating system and there's no way to ex access it externally because it keeps asking for a critical software update. All right, so what we wanna do in this case, uh, there's, there's two things we need to do. Uh, the voter icon does mean that it doesn't detect an operating system whatsoever. Now, if it doesn't detect an operating system, that can also mean it doesn't detect the hard drive. Let's go ahead and check that out. But also I do have like a bootable USB. I have, this is an older one, it's high Sierra, it's very good and we can use it usually to see if we want to extract data or to see if there's a hard drive or something like that in there. So let's go ahead and actually see what we could do if we can extract data, if there's anything we can really do. So uh, when I plug this in, it should actually probably recognize it right away or try to go to a test. So I don't have to even do anything else because when we plug it in, it'll actually start loading. And let's see where it's gonna go really from here. All right, so it brings you to the screen here and it shows that a critical software update is Required for your Mac to install this update, you need to connect to the network. So I guess we'll do that. So if you try to connect to the network, what it's going to do is it's just going to boot loop you around. Well, not boot loop, <laughs> it's just going to loop you around. And it's going to keep saying a critical software update is required, but network issue, and blah, 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 blah. There's not much you can really do. So it keeps looping me this way, and there's nothing I can really do. So uh, what we can do is we can actually go to recovery partition. Um, so let's actually do that. Let's do a typical recovery partition because I've already tried this I'm just showing you guys anyway, and that's why it's a little bit more interesting There's a recovery partition on here or what we want to do is we want to go ahead and check out the MacBook and see what's on there um, And we're gonna go to the recovery and just see like what firmware is on there already So let's shut it down. All right, so I'm gonna hold command R and what command R is gonna do is it's going to get us to a recovery mode We're here. You see that pops up and this is we'll do the same thing we did here and we'll try it again. All right, so we see here, uh, we're in the macOS recovery and we see this is actually here, this is macOS uh, Sierra or just Sierra, how, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it, it's not macOS yet, right? But it does have Sierra, which is a very old operating system. Uh, but we're not interested in that right now. We're interested in going to disk utility and seeing what's actually there, seeing if we can see any problem. So we do see an Apple SSD here. We have a two terabyte and it says it's un initialized and what that means is not being utilized by the system whatsoever right it's the, the system doesn't even recognize that there is any type of partitions any type of hard drives now for this one we're not sure if this has been wiped already if there's been any um, anything really done to it we're not really too sure we can hit first aid if we want to just kind of like waste our time and say everything's okay whatever let's just say for the heck of it we don't care about data we don't really care about anything else we just want to get this thing working so we can install an OS on it let's try to actually erase it and for this one, it's going to tell you to do um, the format. It's going to be a little bit different. It's going to be Mac OS uh, extended there. On Sierra, actually, they use this format instead of APFS, which started, I believe, on Catalina, if I'm not mistaken. You can correct me down in the comments if that's the truth. But either way, now it says the erase process has failed. We want to see why it failed there. It just says unable to write the last block of the device. That's a little bit strange, right? So we can see the drive here, but it can't be initialized. It can't do nothing. Okay. That's fine, I guess. So we can't erase it. We can't um, access it through an external device because it keeps giving a critical update error. Um, let's see if we can actually install this one because this is a much older one. And I had High Sierra. Maybe if I go to Sierra, I actually did do that before. I actually made a bootable out of this. I installed the OS actually on an external device here and I made a Sierra bootable. And when I boot to Sierra, it shows the same thing that's a critical update. I don't need to show that because I already tried that. Because you would think, right, if it needed a critical update, why would it need a critical update through a firmware if the firmware is already on Mac OS Sierra? And we have a USB that does have Sierra. If we plug it in, it should just boot, right? So there has to be some other type of problem. All right, and that is correct. There is some other type of problem. All right, so what's going on with this device? Well, it's if there was no SSD detected, there would most likely be a problem with the hard drive itself inside because the NAND is actually built into the mother, the logic board itself there, 
And if there's a problem, you can usually see if there's a short or something, we can measure it. We can see if we can fix it that way. We didn't see any type of liquid spills. We did open up. We didn't see any liquid spills. We didn't see um, any obvious damage there. We, everything seems to be measuring totally fine. We didn't really see any other type of problem with the logic board itself there. We did see the only thing we did notice is that this battery has been replaced before. And it's not an original Apple battery, which I don't think should really make a difference. The only other thing I'm thinking that, that it can be is it does have a touch bar, which can also give a problem as well. But I'd even try disconnecting everything and seeing if I can install it that way. You, sometimes you can disconnect the screen, especially if there's a problem with it, and see if it will actually install uh, that way. So we made sure everything was disconnected. We tried to install it normally. still was given a problem there. So it's not any type of components, not any type of uh, um, these component issues there. It isn't any type of like keyboard, a touch bar, anything like that. What can also happen is there can be a firmware corruption for that. And the firmware can actually corrupt, especially if you, you see that there is only Sierra on there and not any other, maybe Catalina or um, Big Sur. Maybe there was an upgrade, maybe the upgrade failed, and then there's a firmware corruption. That's the only other thing I can think of. All right, so unfortunately, uh, we haven't really found a solution for this yet. We're just going to keep looking. Uh, we just would like to let you guys know, especially for these type of issues, if you guys have seen these issues before, um, if we definitely find a solution, we'll definitely make a follow-up video for that. But just FYI for you guys, especially the ones with a touch bar, or if you're doing any type of uh, firmware updates or any type of updates in general, just always be careful, especially if you're unplugging it or anything, because that can be a problem. All right, so unfortunately, so far, no repair uh, for this one, as least making this video. Definitely stay tuned for a follow-up video on that. Definitely comment below. If you've seen this issue, seen any other type of solutions, it really helped us out a lot. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and just an informative video uh, for you guys. Please leave a like. It really does help us a lot. We do lots of liquid spill repairs, data recoveries, lots of fun things on this channel. So definitely check us out. And um, thanks a lot for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.